TV, man, we tapped in with NBM Ball out here in LA one time. Uh, nah, man, I just seen the show yesterday, man. You was rocking the crowd and shit. Had a lot of energy on the stage, man, so I had to tap in with you with it. Oh, yeah, man, that's how me and my niggas do it, man. Shout out to Tony Gun, man, for our nigga out there, man. You already know. For sure. For Rich Taylor, you feel me? Franchise, NBM, you feel me? Money back, mob. So, so now we in LA, man. So you got to give me like a little rundown of where you from and all that type of vibe, cause you know I'm, I'm basically a tourist here right now. All right, all right. Shit, I'm from the east side, man. East, east. I'm trying to get this shit, and this shit heavy, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got that yeah. shit on I'm from South Central. I'm from the east side, though, man. I'm from the hood. Specifically, I'm from East Coast Crip, 69th Street. Okay. You feel me where I'm from? So first get the one I know, 1200 block, feel me? 2400 block, I bang them all. Okay. I can't get this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically, that's all from the east side of South Central, man. I'm yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure, man. So like, you know, with the LA vibes, man, I'm seeing like y'all making a little movement with like the new generation of this shit with the music, really. I would say, I say it's been it's, it's been pressing for like the last five, six years with the new sound coming out. But I, it seemed like y'all kind of more getting into the music shit, man. But uh, you know, what made you just kind of like jump down and start fucking with it, you think? Man, I just started rapping like six months ago, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, lick it, man. I just got out of the pen. I just got out of prison for doing like three years. Last September, you feel me? Okay. I ain't never rap. I, my everyday nigga, he about to come back up here, you feel me? He be rapping and shit. He been rapping since we was kids, but it never was like serious, you feel me? But my whole life, everybody always told me, man, why you don't rap? Cause shit always lived like this. Like this shit ain't from rapping. Like, you feel me? This shit for being smart though. I'm gonna say that. I ain't gonna say too much, but it's, it's, from, it's from being smart, but it ain't from rapping. For sure. You feel me? But uh, yeah, man, I always, I've been living this lifestyle since I was, 12 years old as far as like having thousands, you feel me, having money and shit. So everybody just always told me like, man, cue ball, rap, rap, rap. Then you feel me, a nigga, like, a nigga too, you feel me, on the hood. I ain't gonna put no too much on my name, but you feel me, you probably know somebody, you feel me, yeah. on the hood. They'll tell you like, no real street nigga, you feel me? So, so, so now, man, you say you went to prison. Man, show them where we at, man, show them where we at first, man. We on, we on the top floor, man. So, Top, he doing his thing out here for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. My nigga VP in the cut. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you know how we doing it, man. You know how we doing it, man. So, that's money on the floor, man. We just, we just chilling. Yeah. But shit, so, nah, nah. So, like, you know, what you coming out, you know, doing three years, man. Would you think about rapping while you was doing that time? Nah, hell no, man. Rapping never been a thought in my head, bro. <laughs> never, man. Hey, 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 like this shit started. Hey, this shit started from one of my boys. You feel me? Who like yeah. who be making uh um, beats and shit? He be rapping his name YC Lopez. Shout out to him too. You feel me? Uh, yeah, man, he called me to the studio and like, man, I don't give a fuck. What you talking about? You about to get in there right now. And I got in there and shit was straight. You feel me? So yeah. ever since, like, once once everybody see me post that, I end up making a SoundCloud. My surf, my first song I posted, overnight I'm up and had like 20,000 views. Okay. So that was like a little bit more motivation, but shit, ever since everybody found on rapping, man, oh, boy, man, come to the studio, come to the studio. Okay. And he just kept me in the studio, so then it got to the point where like, well, I'm gonna keep myself in the studio. Gotcha. Then you can up buying my own studio, you feel me? Gotcha, gotcha, that's what's up, man. Nah, you, you seem like you with it, man. You got the whole look, the vibe and all that shit. I would've never known that you just started doing this shit yeah, like uh, six months like six months ago and shit, from the way you was performing and shit on the crowd. And y'all had it turned up, y'all had all the crew out and everything, so it was going down for real, dog. But man. now, uh, so can you say what you was locked up for? Ah, man. <laughs> I mean, you ain't gotta say right, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I did my time for okay. it, man. Hey, I was in jail for residential burglary, man, and a, uh, a gun, you feel me? That's not actually, this, this, that wasn't my first term, no. I done been in prison three times. Okay. I'm like one of them young niggas, like, it's either I'm on the streets getting money, or I'm in jail thugging, you feel me, on the hood, so, and that been, like I said, since I was 12, I've been in out of jail since, shit, not even 12, since 10, you feel me, on the hood, for any crime you can think of, like, you feel me, that's a crime. But, uh, yeah, I just got out. 
from doing it three years for a burglary. God bless me too, good lawyer. And actually, my last week, man, my last week, they had charged me with another burglary. So instead of getting straight out of prison, they came to grab me from the county jail. Now I'm in the county jail for a month. I can't bail out because I gotta go to court first, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I bailed like million some, like one point some million. Uh, shit, I had a lawyer, shout out my lawyer, um, Lauren Noriega, man, go hit her up, man, on the hood. She she make it happen, the hood. Sure. But, uh, however, uh, man, they was trying to strike me out, man. They just tried to strike me out. She went in there, did her for dangle on the hood and got me off because they tried to railroad me. They tried to give me my third strike for something that happened when I was only a one striker. Okay. You feel me? So that's how I wiggled out of that. But uh, yeah, I got three strikes now, so it ain't really too much. I don't got too much wiggle room to be playing and doing all that though. You feel me? On the hood, they got a more like a real mafia boss. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah, you doing the music shit now to get, you know what I'm saying? Having this this shit on the resume. Now you doing the you doing the right thing though, bro. This the way now, like this the way to turn to turn that shit up and really go crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? Having a rap career, that shit real lit. Everybody trying to do that shit and shit. When you got a story to tell for sure, it's gonna go crazy. Hey, hey, you said hey, you said you wouldn't you wouldn't think I'd just been doing this shit for six months? Nah, nah, not by the way you was on the stage. I've been rapping for six months, right? Yeah. On the hood. But this icy fresh shit been on my neck cut for the last 10 years, you feel me? Not all of them, but it been, I got shit up here that I've been having for 10 years and and you feel me on the hood, Ben Baller, Icy Fresh, man. The, the shit that all the rappers talk about, man. Y'all, I got that shit. Y'all see the, see the stamps and all the shits, man, on the hood. Icy Fresh, man, they did it, man. On Crip, all this shit, shit is real life. Yeah. On the hood. <laughs> I swear to God, cuz. Hey, hey, I should, I, I should call Steve right now, man. That's the owner, but I ain't, I'm going to leave it PG-13 uh, for y'all, man, on the hood. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So now coming up when you came up, man, bro, you felt like you had to jump out there early or, you know what I'm saying, just the environment or, or like, you know, family members or anything like that? Nah, look, look this is how it is, right? Yeah. Where I, the block I'm from is like a like a deadly street growing up. It's called, uh, we call it Death Lane on Main, 69th Apartments on 69th and Main, you feel me? Yeah. I live a block away on, I live on the same street, but on the opposite side, which is on Broadway, like basically right up the street, you feel me? And, uh, I'm born and raised there from day zero, you feel me? So I got cousins, I got families, like, but even like without them, you feel me? Or even without them, just living on that corner I lived on, being on that porch, you feel me, on the hood, like, nigga gonna just see it, you feel me? Nigga seeing it, and then all the niggas that was the niggas, they was at my house, you feel me? My house was like a hangout house. Moms go to work late night, you feel me? Older sisters from the hood. You feel me on the hood, older cousins from the hood, so everybody at the house, you know. Uh, you know how it is. You, you got the little nigga that's a little bad, little nigga, five, four years old. You feel me? You get to roughing them up. Now, one day, you feel me? You rough them up to the point where every time you come, he roughing you up. You feel me? On the hood. I was that little nigga. So now, niggas know, like, oh, I couldn't come on the porch. You know, little Ray about to try to fight you. Y'all gonna be fighting. You feel me? On the hood and shit. Shit, when you, man, shit, nigga, when you living like that, you feel me? Yeah. It's just, it's just inevitable. Like, so, you feel me? I, um, I mean, to be honest, I've been game banging, like, as far as anybody tell you, like, it's my whole life, like, shit, I was game banging in elementary, you feel me? Yeah. But, like, when it really became serious, serious game banging, like, I was, like, 10, 11 years old, you feel yeah. me? Me and my whole little pack, you yeah. feel me? But uh, that was, like, just my official, like, put on all that, like, 10, 11, but. You feel me? Nigga been out here, man. Nigga been outside, man. These tattoos, man, it's real, man, on the hood. You yeah. feel me? I can go anywhere, any ally, anywhere out here, any, you feel me, on the hood. I don't tuck my shit. I don't take my shit off. If I can't go right there, it's because I don't supposed to be right there. They opted something, you feel me? But shit, nigga, you know how I go. 